and we just got the shiny of it on the beach. Necrozma on the beach, people. It turned into a shundo. Yes, welcome everyone. Hope that you're good. And I'm here in Sardinia, but we have the brand new Spelunkers Cove that's running alongside the Madrid Go Fest. On the note of the Go Fest, I've been enjoying the content from there. Go and check out Marsfall 27 and Ian Wartle from the Incense podcast if you want to see their coverage of the Go Fest. But here, we're starting today with a nice little wheeler because we are literally beside the beach. So, beach biome. The chase for today is the shiny Crab Rawler, brand new, released yesterday for Madrid Go Fest, now available worldwide. We've got one star raids that haven't appeared yet. We have also got wild encounters and field research task is gonna be power of Pokemon 10 times to try and find that brand new red boxing gloved crab shiny, the fabled task. There you go, power of Pokemon 10 times. We do also have some special ticketed research, the beach bash, thanks to Batman of Texas from the Patreon squad who gifted that to us. 14,000 dust on the Growlithe ticks off of our first quest check. We have already checked two in the wild, so check number three of the event technically, not the shiny. It's a nice little shiny actually, and I've seen quite a few people get in it from Madrid Go Fest, and shout out to Sicatrix, who is part of the Patreon squad, who managed to nab the wild Shondo while over in Madrid. What we're gonna do after scoping the beach, we're gonna head into the city to go and get so many stops. There's just, it's clustered with stops over there. So I'm hoping the field research tasks are plenty in the town. After a bit of a walk, we've managed to accumulate another three Power of Pokemon 10 times tasks. And it seems, somewhat rare at the moment. We'll find out properly when we go into the town. Three crab roller checks. Come on, not shiny and on the beach, 551. Not sure of the 100% of this thing. Quest number two, 563, not the shiny. And the third, not shiny this time, unfortunately. There does seem to be a lot of regular field research tasks a la that thing there. Take a snapshot of the wild Pokemon. No thanks. There is one spawn that I will never tire of seeing and it's featured in this event quite heavily and we just got the shiny of it on the beach. How fantastic is that? Shiny Rhyhorn from the beach biome, which we're not gonna be in for too much longer for this video, but let's throw a red Pokeball at it because it's kind of, it's a bronze shiny. Fantastic. Obviously, Rhyperia, very good rock and ground type, so worth perhaps putting a ground or rock mega down, getting yourself some XL candy, etc. for it. Yes, it's only one star, but not a problem. A Sardinian shiny. Not our first, actually, because yesterday in the car, over here, you'll be able to see we managed to scope our second ever shiny cutie fly, so that completes a shiny family, which is amazing. Good. Welcome to Italy. <laughs> So there's a little row of stops down here that we've got to go and find and hopefully get some okay quests because yeah, apart from those three tasks, everything else has been pretty flat. We haven't seen a single crab brawler in the wild. We've had one off incense and one from way, way back. Five rock type definitely seems the most common of the uh, research. There's legit a wild crab brawler. It's not shiny and we're no longer on a beach biome. I guess we're far enough away. <laughs> that's. That's depressing, the, the, the first true one we found in the wild. <laughs> this is our third Necrozma of the day. Thanks to JT Valor and Francesco for the one earlier. 2090, that is not too bad at all. Again, he smashed it, he got his video out straight away. So he's putting out content from Madrid. We obviously don't have a shiny potential, so it's just a case of trying to catch the damn thing. On the beach, Necrozma on the beach, people. Obviously 2104 is your magical 100% if you're remoting into them or you're raiding in Madrid or New York in two weeks time. Golden Raz, counterclockwise, strike at excellence. We've arrived at some roadworks. Instantly out, for God's sake. Okay, going for a nice throw apparently. But we got it with a nice throw, the worst throw we could do. So 93, JT, thank you so very much from Madrid. And we've arrived back at the car. So we're gonna get in the car and head into the town itself. And then uh, you'll see how good <laughs> the stop game is here. I feel like Italy, sometimes the stop game is just insane. After a little drive, we've arrived here in the town of Cagliari, I think it is, or Cagliari, or however you pronounce this thing, but- Cagliari. There you go. The stops are, it's just a beautiful sight to behold. How many stops you've got here. We're running a bit of daily incense with a 30 minutes of raw time, see if anything comes our way. We're gonna check as many quests as we can do, although I will say, 
Mm, the power of Pokemon 10 times task is not looking very common. We've, we found one on the way over. That was even in the car, not even in the town. So and I think a coffee is needed as we're going up this hill. So we're now on top of the uh, Bastion de San Remy, I guess is what it is, and we're still finding a couple of tasks here and there. However, there is a side note to this video which I wanted to show. Recently we've had quite a bit of luck when it comes to the good old Shundos, <laughs> i.e. the Shundo Caterpie in the wild from two weekends ago, and then last weekend was Gumi Community Day, we got the Shundo on live stream, which is insane. And um, you know, there's two special trades for the whole season of st shared skies and Martha and I have been trading random stuff and Wednesday night we decided to swap 2021 shiny legendaries for no lucky trades or anything like that. I don't have a screen recording of it because it was going to go dead. Um, I gave her a shiny Zekrom from 2021. She gave me a Regigigas shiny and uh, did the trade. It didn't see it go lucky. Regigigas, I've always had a problem with remembering the numbers of the CPs of the Hundos. And I, saw, I thought 2483, probably terrible. It turned into a Shundo, which is mental. I think I've had one of these before with a Mammoth Swine or a Swin Up, where I don't know what the odds are. Somebody in the comments can probably let me know. The odds of a Shundo from a random trade is insane because it's best friend, so the IV floor is 555. But that makes it three Shundos in three weeks. Insane. We're going to find some more tasks and work on powering this up to level 50 because I, I, I speechless. Actually, was speechless on that Wednesday night. No comprehension of the fact that you can get a Shundo from that sort of trade, which is mental. So, uh, you can throw a like on the video if you so please. We yeah, obtained in a trade, it's a 2021 Pokemon originally. So, if we look at the, Sh the Shundo collection now, it's actually ridiculous. We've gone from 9, when we recorded the Shundo Collection video a couple of weeks ago, to now 12. Three in three weeks. Caterpie, Wilson's good old Shundo, Gumi from the Comde, and now Lindaloo, the <laughs> Shundo Regigigas. Actually mental. Right now, I need to... I mean, look, the quest's up here. Come on. I mean, we've done that. We need to go back this way. All these stops up that pathway. Let's rock and roll.
as the phone brightness has now gone to nil and I can barely see anything, we're gonna do the Beach Bash ticketed research. So thanks again, Batman of Texas, for gifting us this ticket. Because for $2 or 199 USD, you actually get quite a lot of bang for your buck with it. You get the raid passes, especially and some crab brawler encounters, which very likely will not be shiny. Having walked around this place, the amount of quests available is tiny, and the spawns, if we thought Emolga was rare, this crab brawler is now an impossible to even find. It doesn't pop off incense, it doesn't come in the wild. I think we've seen three in the wild total. <laughs> Quite apart from the fact they're a pain to catch as well. No raids, we've just found, obviously, the standard tier threes and things like that. You want one-star raids, if you wish to raid for Crab Brawler. So I say good luck if you get the shiny, or want to get the shiny. You can let me know in the comments below, did you get the shiny from Research or The Wild or something like that? Because these have all not been shiny and not been hundreds. I think it's 583 or 584, along those lines for 100% of Crab Brawler. But this is our final encounter with the most rare item, 20 regular Crab Brawler candy, and no shiny, unfortunately, and all completely dead. What about this one? The official city center something or other task? No. There's so few event tasks and the event tasks you find are catch five rock type. So mm, I give this event a thumbs down to be honest. By some complete miracle we found three tasks. Not that it's taken 20 minutes to do so. so check one is not with the red boxing gloves as we're trying to find an open top bar or rooftop bar. Not shiny. And this one, it's not shiny. Ooh. 93, maybe? Those are very common to us, the ones that give you potions and revives, you think. No. And we're gonna conclude this video here because that tiramisu was very, very nice indeed. And also, I'll show you on the screen there, we've totaled 24 checks today. <laughs> that's like three in the wild, two or three off incense, and that many quests, plus the paid ticket. So genuinely, as I said last clip, like I would say this event is a big flat no. Like just, just doesn't have the same encounter possibility as in Molga. At least you have eggs and stuff. We haven't seen one crab brawler raid in what, five hours or something like that. And this place is, as you've seen, pretty lit for stops and gyms. So disappointed with this event but then this event is very much a sideshow compared to what's going over in Madrid so I'm gonna say thank you very much to every single one of my wonderful Patreon supporters as I say all the time they're the reason I'm able to continue bringing you content the live streams and going to live events of which we're going to New York very very soon so I appreciate every single one of you and we had somebody pop on the Patreon recently Charles Amanda I think it is who was in Madrid in a raid and then popped on the Patreon so thank you very much for joining the Patreon squad now I don't know if we'll be making any more content on this uh, event itself because it only runs until July the 8th however the live stream schedule for the following week is going to be like this we're not going to do spotlight hour here I want a little bit of a break from spotlight hour plus it's rock and roller so Tuesday is empty but we will find somewhere to live stream for your Veltal raid hour which will be on Wednesday 6 p.m this is Europe Central European time so UK will be 5 p.m BST and I'm gonna say if you want to join for your Veltal's first of two raid hours this month pop a comment below including your in-game name and your friend code that would be splendid hopefully there'll be some shiny luck and some hundo luck then we have the scorching steps event I will be back in the UK for that Friday I believe it is which is gonna be great introducing shiny lava vesta plus we then have community day classic for cinderquill which is great we'll live stream the first hour of that on the saturday so very best of luck let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comments below and i haven't mentioned this so far in the show but if you would like to go and check out the incensed podcast the episode number that's now available to you is 175 you can find it on all podcast platforms and the link tree for it is in the description also go and check out mark and ian muscle 27 and ian waterfall for their coverage of madrid go fest support the boys why not they're having a fantastic time out there i'm quite jealous that i'm not there with sue francesco etc but uh, if you enjoyed this video please go and check out either one of these bits of content on your screen here that would be lovely. There's some very good bits and pieces available on the channel and plenty more for you to enjoy. But I guess until the next time, all I can say is ciao.